You're a little intimidating. Ah. Well, I usually keep a distance, you know. I'm I'm on my own thing, and I just kind of stay over there and do my own thing until, uh, you know, oh. drama happens or something. You ever watch Breaking Bad? Yeah. Bro, I just watched that for the first time. Oh, my God. Oh. He went out it's right. good. It was so fucking good. Then Dude. I would really watch Better Call Saul. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's what I'm watching right now. It's just fucking fire, it's, bro. It's, you haven't finished Better Call Saul? Oh, no. I'm, I'm like, in the last season, Dude. couple episodes in. Oh, my God. Bob Odenkirk and Better Call Saul being nominated for 130 different Emmys and never winning one. I saw a compilation of that, yeah. Uh, he is so good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Bob, go, like El Camino, right? Uh, that was the movie, the Breaking Bad movie. Yeah, that was actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that there was a Breaking Bad movie. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, it was Jesse like it was like wrapping Jesse's up story Jesse's story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. Is it? Oh, that's coming out. No, it's, no. it's been out. It's out like three years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Started COVID. It just kind of happened. It kind of went under the radar. I feel like not a lot of people like really it's, paid attention to it. It's really good. Oh, I I didn't even know it existed, but I yeah. just went on a break. Uh, a Better Girls All Tear, and oh Shit. my god, it's so it's freaking good. This is how we start our podcast, by the way. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Uh, you might be like, "What's going on? Why are you guys not in your studio?" Wait, did we actually that is, start? yeah. <laughs> oh, why? I thought we were still snack break. Oh. oh no, this is how we do it. <laughs> oh, we, okay. we just like yeah. start. We just casually like start. On people. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that was it was a little bit of a jump scare. <laughs> yeah, you might be like, what's going on? Why aren't you at your studio? That's because I'm in Austin, Texas, here with Will Eber Savage Neff III, and uh, graciously, we were allowed to film inside of the Steak and Eggs Podcast studio Yeah, with yeah. OTK. Which rules. Studio yeah. meaning warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's a $40 billion super compound. They got, like, right. turrets out there. It's right. dope. Right. For stream snipers. Yeah. 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 Uh, sponsored by Starforge. They got it yeah. all. Everything is... Everything is in motion. Um, we have a lot to talk about today. We have some wonderful guests. We got Asmongold, Emeru, Tectone yes. in the building. And I am very excited. First order of business. Yeah. I think we got to address the elephant in the room. Which one? Asmongold has been Hasanabid. Oh, mm. thank God. Thank God. All right, finally. You've been... Yeah, we you can talk been, about it. You... You... you for those of you at home who are unfamiliar, maybe you don't go on Twitter too much and, you know, you spare yourself the madness, you had a take. I did. You had a take about <laughs> AI and Pal World and AI art in general, and it was, I assume, a much more refined take, but the it was version... fucking hours. But the version that yeah. made it to yeah. the interwebs was not so refined. Now, you and I might even have disagreements on the AI component, sure. but... What you and I do not have disagreements on is that once that happened, and I saw it, and it is definitely a hot button issue for obvious reasons. AI is displacing a lot of uh, uh, parts of the sector, but specifically with art. Yep. Um, a lot of artists who are already, you know, struggling to make ends meet with their art are seeing that like AI is training on their work, and uh, and all of that is very frustrating. Very passionate people came after you. They're very passionate. But they didn't stop there. <laughs> they started looking at other stuff that you were saying. That's right. Specifically to clip that and be like, this guy sucks. <laughs> and like, keep <laughs> going. <laughs> yep. Keep going on the this guy sucks uh, bender. Yeah. Yeah. Happens to me weekly. Yeah. Um, I am known for hot takes. And I wanted to hear your perspective on it. I'm completely fine with it. It doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I'm on a public platform. I'm giving my public opinion. People can respond publicly. I think that's just how it is. Now, obviously, it would be nice if more of the uh, viral tweets were about my argument and not my room. But, you know, that's just what fucking happens. That's what happens. And, and so I, I thought about going and making a tweet explaining what I was saying or talking about it. But then I remembered that once people have made up their mind that you're wrong, well, then you're fucking wrong. And that's it. Like, why would, like, if you tell them that they're wrong about you being wrong, now they're wrong. Well, they're not going to like that. You know, I saw like so, seven yeah. tweets where you're like trying to like talk to some of these commenters. Right. And then they would agree that you're right because you were. And then they say, 
But you were still mean well, about it. Well, I was a huge asshole about it. And, like, it's true, right? And it makes me think, mm -hmm. like, because, you know, I'm sure, Son, you think about this, too. It's like whenever you communicate, it's like is your method to create controversy or is it to spread a message? And mm -hmm. how do you spread a message with controversy? Is this becoming counterproductive, right? And I think about this. And so it's like was I being counterproductive? I don't know. In a way, yes. But in a way, a lot of people are talking about it. So it's hard to say. Well, I, I think what you were talking about in yeah. maybe a less than tactful way it sure is. is the inevitability of AI as opposed to yeah. the, the the kind of morality of AI. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and, and that's, that's the problem, right? It's like people, it's like, I, I think it's important that you have to acknowledge like, this is what I think people are going to do, not what I think they should do mm. or, you know, what would be, what what things should be like. But like, for example, like we all saw like the Taylor Swift AI stuff and like all of that, that's completely fucked. It was like, wild. It was awful, right? And so yeah. I actually think that there should be laws against like trying to like impersonate somebody with AI. I mean, it's common sense. Well, there already are. It's impersonation. It yeah. just should be applied to that too. So I don't think it's necessarily like my perspective is really any different than a lot of other people's. It's just that whenever I try to communicate it, and especially like you're streaming eight hours a day, Oh yeah, you, you you can have one yeah. minute of being. I, an I think asshole. that it's just a lot of people, yeah. especially artists, heard your take and like it felt like like there wasn't empathy there for artists, so they're like, oh, he doesn't care about how this affects me or how this makes me uncomfortable. Sure. But I mean, it, it was like a condensed take, so like the misunderstanding well, it was, it is where was it comes cut. from. It, there were a lot of cuts in the video, but what, again, what was your take? Well, yeah, basically what I'm saying is that like a consumer, I don't think really. It, it, are people going to actually care about AI in terms of a functional difference of consuming a product? And I don't, I haven't seen evidence for that. Well, I would say that you're yeah. right in that we also have a really good test market in that consumers, particularly in the United States, don't give a fuck about anything they consume, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The majority of the things they consume at this point are unethical. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. From from the meat they use, the, phones, the clothes the phones, they use. Yeah, they're using a phone talk on. that was made in a sweatshop. Why would they care if something was yeah, made by a right. robot? No, it, it, everything is is created in profoundly unethical ways. Absolutely. Um, I think this is ironic because like AI literally is the exact same in that yeah. in that same exact vein where it's like further exploitative because then it's like eradicating well, I think the it's human component. Particularly a hot button issue because now we are the ones that are suffering. Right, it is the first time that that ethical dilemma has touched Americans or you know people <laughs> that we are close to, and ultimately, I hope that I hope that it is kind of an awakening that it's like, wait a minute, we can vote with our dollars, we can vote with our eyes. I don't think we can. I well, I mean, here's the thing. Did you see? This is like a fucking gaming bullshit drama thing. Sure. But the uh, Yakuza, one of the recent games for Yakuza, uh, paywalled the new game plus. Yeah. And I told everybody, I said, guys, we're making another video complaining about gaming and this isn't going to change anything. But if we all stop buying it, it would never happen again. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's so disappointing that like people don't have that consol that like solidarity. This it's all, so disappointing. It all went downhill with the horse armor. That was it. it that was, was fucking it. That was it. the first moment where we went from like expansions, which yes. were standalone games. Right. To... Actually, maybe we can make extra money with like little, maybe just a little, little bit, maybe just yeah. a little bit. Which, which game was Horse Armor? Was that was Oblivion? That the, Oblivion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Shouts out to Todd Hover for that. He just, yeah. he just. I mean, Why is that significant? Was cool, like first time, the first, first one. It was oh, the okay. first paid okay. DLC. It was a Horse Armor, and like everybody said, "Oh, it's just a Horse Armor. It doesn't matter." And I'm like, people are saying, "Oh, it's just New Game Plus. It doesn't matter." I'll, say, I'll see you in five years. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And and here we are. I mean, look, even people that criticized at the time, like Fire. It is so sexy. It's sexy. Yeah. But see, we're doing it. We're dumb. There we're it dumb. is. <laughs> but that's the reason why you need, so, like, so regulation. How can, how can we train ourselves as consumers to be more discerning about the products we are consuming? I don't think you can. Plus, also, here's the second part. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Fuck, man. You can't. But Come also, on. here's the other thing I was yeah. going to say. The only test is this, and this is the part of your argument that I actually do agree with. Yeah. If it's good, people that's will it. buy it. We just talked about, uh, we just talked about Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A is homophobic. They hate gays. Gay people love Chick-fil-A, dog. Yep. We, gay people will consume it. We eat that shit daily. Okay? It's good. If it was bad, no one would purchase it. The thing with AI right now is that it's very bad. But it's getting 
really good and an alarming rate. So what, Absolutely. What, what do you mean it's very bad? Like ethically or like the, where the state is in uh, technology? No, 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 no. Like, like quality you're um, talking quality, about, right? Quality yeah. is just okay. bad. Like yeah. you'll, okay. I've played some AI games on stream and um, it's, it's fun because it's so bad yeah. for the time being. Like if you do those like detective games or whatever, it's, it's not, a game at all it's just really really bad it's really buggy it's really broken the ai sucks um there's like a very specific way that the ai talks as well and it's like you can kind of comprehend that and i feel like that will actually start seeping into our collective consciousness just like how you know tiktok has ruined an entire generation's way of speaking and other stuff too but specifically the way people say unalived in the oh real God. world now yeah. instead, of saying, yeah. instead of porn yeah yeah so like that kind of stuff assault with two asterisks instead yeah. of yeah. 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 so so that that will also seep into our collective conscious like the chat gpt way of speaking yeah. i think um but right now overall like mid journey fine there's like some visual quirks to it but it will get really good and i've always been an advocate that like ai just like every other tool is supposed to be something that alleviates the stress, the tension from people who are normally using that. It empowers them. Yeah, it is supposed yeah. to be an empowering tool, but of course it's not going to be an empowering tool because the bosses see that and go, oh, fuck you, all right, no more, I'm not paying you anymore. Why would I give you money for graphic design when this fucking machine can do it for free if I buy the software? And that's, what's, that's what the major issue is, which is why I'm an advocate for regulation. But this is not a political podcast, so I'm not going to be talking about that aspect of it that much. I think AI is going to be insane in GTA 6, where every single interaction with an NPC is going to be different for every single person. Has that been stated? I never heard I have that. heard lots of rumors they're going to be using AI for GTA okay, 6. Okay, so it hasn't been stated. It's it's yes. okay. I'll Google it. Okay. Well, y'all. I doubt ahead. it. I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think that I, I don't think that Rockstar is going to invest themselves in yeah. tarnishing the release of, of GTA 6 because AI is still really hot button. Well, I, I think, yeah, I mean, AI is so the not there yet. I, I think AI is so reason. hot yeah. button. Like, let's put this in perspective. The conversation you had about AI... Okay, yeah. real quick. St go, go, okay. go. According to the report, GTA 6 may include enhanced NPC interactions incorporating generative AI. AI. Okay. Similar to Red Redemption... Uh, According to, to report, what does that mean? Which website is uh, it? This is Live Mint and also Gaming Bible. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a, that sounds like a fucking AI generated website. <laughs> 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 Game AI, is, AI is trying to convince us that it exists. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. heard it and seen it everywhere, uh, and I think it would be insane. What I wanted to dial back and say is the the conversation around AI is so hot. Yeah, that your conversation stemmed from Pal World, sure. right? Yes. Which let's put something in perspective. There's no evidence. There's no there's evidence any, that AI was even AI. used in yeah. Power World. It was Other, released before AI well, could it, even, even make shit like Even that. to the fact that the fact that it's on Steam means that they actively lied to Steam because Steam asks you if you have AI in the game. And so they would have had to lie to Steam yes. to even have it on there in the first place. And the, the, the evidence that people have is that the main investor is a tech bro. Yeah. He is, and he's a he's a very big advocate of AI. He's yes. expressed that on Twitter. Yeah, there's a lot of fake and, stuff about Palo. And, and the person that well, the thing is, the person that did the video of like the the side by side with those different models admitted that he faked it because he didn't like the fact that they were like it, it was, was animal, like animal cruelty, cruelty in yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's even his pinned tweet. I saw this yesterday. Yeah, the guy who did the tweet that's like, oh, they they completely ripped the models from Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. He edited the model to match the other one, but and he did it the because he didn't like the animal let's, abuse. Let's say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Just because we don't identify or talk about the animal cruelty in Pokemon doesn't mean it doesn't exist. My mom didn't yeah. like Pokemon because of that, yeah, even in 1998. You're keeping yep. animals in cramped balls. You're yep. forcing them to fight. Well, okay, they're not cramped balls. In Pokemon episode 17, they actually show the inside of a Pokeball. It's pretty big, of right? It's, it's very big. It has a habitat that they're comfortable in, like Squirtles. There's like a little rock with okay, a Okay, what, what about Arceus? What about the hundreds of years oh, of God. legacy <laughs> that, that you were yeah. putting Pokemon in wooden balls? Yep, that's fucked up. I yeah, mean, you're right. Up, yeah, I don't want to insult God. Poke God. Oh, also, real quick, one billion lions or one of every Pokemon in the fight? Who wins? Oh, one of every Pokemon. Yeah. It's not even a question. Okay, I'm not real thing, bitch. I'd fuck the <laughs> shit out of that thing. Okay. okay, here. We have to talk about something. Yeah. Okay. This is this is pals. They're 69. farming. They are farming. Yeah. Okay, you guys both have that reaction, and he had this reaction. I have no sexual impulse to this animal I at all. I fuck it. 
Well, I, I don't have a sexual impulse, but I can see why somebody else would. Yeah, I can recognize. You know what I mean? Intention. I can recognize see the it. intention. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. Well, then maybe you'll believe me. I have no attraction to it, but I recognize the intent. You too, Emmy. Yes. Yes. I said I don't. Yes. yes. I said I don't. Fuck the shit out of that thing, person. No, I said I don't. Yeah, fuck it, bro. It's like oh my I'm god. Straight is Wait, pull it back up. Pull it no. back up. What about this model says that? Let me to put you. my glasses okay. on. Okay. Real quick. Okay. Look. Well, the, all right, the all right. You know we pull it up. We're gonna talk about it. You want to talk about it? Pull it up. Pull it up. Let's go. Okay. Let's get it. Also, have you, have you seen 69. the way that it walks in game? No. So sexy. Okay, so she she does the uh, the, she the, the foot in male. front of the foot thing. Like she's doing the saunter, yeah, the, the, right? The, the, number yeah, one. Yeah, her arms number are two. like pinched to the side of her titties. And it goes even farther. She only comes. She only comes out at night. Yep. She is a night Pokemon, or pal, excuse me. And then <laughs> the heart is clearly supposed to be some big-ass titties. Yeah, and she has, like, a, cr a crotch yes. crotch. Yeah, look she at, has a look crotch at, heart. Yeah, like, I need a video titties. of this thing in look game, at please. Those YouTube, YouTube. Look at yeah. those, I mean, come on, what are we talking about? Yeah. Got, those are bird legs! Yep. Sure they are. But they're thighs. I mean... No, I, I want to fuck that. No, I said, <laughs> I said I'm not attracted to it. I just yeah. recognize the intent of the I can, design. Yeah, why is see... it wrong to want to fuck it? Like, why are y'all so against fucking it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I'm against it. It's just that it's not real. So, like, what am I going to do? spending all my time thinking about this? Like, it, it's just, yeah, <laughs> there it is. Big, it's out at night. Wait, wait, I got to see it. I got to see it. Yeah. You know That's what's really girl. funny about uh -huh. this game? It's like, it's a lot of fun, for sure, but it's also like, as far as okay, games go, an absolute mm, dog shit uh, game. <laughs> you think like, so? Well, it, what uh, games need to be fun, first and foremost, and yeah. it nails it on that front. But it's a dog shit game, and there's like, the AI is busted. It is fucking <laughs> like, garbage. Yeah, like, can, it, I, can I say something, though? Well, Compared to when the latest Pokemon game came out, this game functions 100% better. Well, no, and so, that's that's what it comes down yeah. to, right? Oh, yeah. 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 And I've yeah. said this game from Freak the beginning. Really bad. Yeah. I've said this from the beginning. Pal World's success is more evidence that Game Freak has been doing such a woeful job by its community. It's insanely bad. Yeah. That, yeah. that their fans are, so, okay, what's going on here? It's crazy. Yeah. You know something else Look I haven't jiggle, seen? Bro. Wait, why does oh, it have God. hard eyes? You ever seen that shit, bro? I wonder why. <laughs> She's about to breed. What? Yeah, you ever seen her chilling in the in the hot tub? Chills there, hearts in her eyes, closing up, smiling, so so welcoming, so wet, so inviting. All right, can you I know what yeah. I? What the you fuck? guys get what I'm saying about like it's a bad game in the sense that like all of the stuff, all the fixins that you need for a game to work, like. A story, for example. Yeah. There is no, I don't know. It doesn't have anything. <laughs> There's like a, a couple of lore things. Like yeah. you pick them up and you read them on a smartphone and it's like, who gives? I didn't read a single one They of do a little bit like, yeah. they do a little bit of like a like a Soulsborne type. Like right. maybe we'll feed you the lore shit, but I feel like they kind of gave up on it. Like okay. there's not yeah. really too much going on. Okay, so then what's the story of Pokemon Red? Dude, I know that. Off, see what I'm saying? Off rip. It's you a want, kid, you're a born kid. kid's fucking Pokemon. Okay, what? but there's also you're like fighting against gym Whoa. trainers. Yeah, and same thing with like Power World. There's gym trainers. To... Yeah, you are the lab assistant to Professor Professor Oak, Oak, a Pokemon scientist who has revolutionized the process of documenting and catching Pokemon. With the Pokedex. Pokedex, yeah. And yep. after his nephew is empowered, Gary. with one of his private collection, he takes pity on you. Yep. And gives you a Pokemon so that you can start your life. Gary doesn't like that. As you a choose. Pokemon trainer. Yep. Garrett doesn't like that. And then you catch them all and become the very best well, and, and then take on the Elite Four. That no one ever was. That no yeah, one ever yeah. was. Yeah. Did you uh, ever know the lore of the PC? Why it's called Bill's PC? That lore is insane. Oh. Oh, look into that. Why it's called Bill. You meet him. Oh, yeah. You meet him after you beat the, the Nugget Road and he's in that thing and you yeah. see him and he's a Pokemon at first, transforms into a human. That's Bill. Bill. He's the PC. Whoa. Yep, and then you fight fucking Mewtwo. The same thing with Power World, okay? You're just a kid who wants to collect all the pals and bring order to the world. And maybe fuck yep. the 69th Love pal. Yeah. yeah, well, it's like Rust. What's the story in Rust? Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, there isn't one. And so I think that as long as a game is compelling and it's fun to play, that's all that really matters. Everything else, like the story, the, you know, lip syncing, the voice lines, all that doesn't the really make a big dino. difference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> dino pussy. Yo, no, yeah. I, I, I agree with you on that front where it's like... For sure. Yeah, uh, it, it is a testament to, like, how much <laughs> Game Freak stands to make the greatest, oh most God. compelling... 
revolutionary IP that changes is genre defining IP of all time. Well, I mean, that they, they just right. like two don't things, yeah. do two it. Two things that are true. Two right. things that are true. Game Freak has never made a truly open world game at this point to this day. They have not. They tried with Arceus, so it was terrible. They, but well, it's still yeah. not fully open world. You like yeah. move to those locations. Yeah. Two, there has never been a Pokemon game with every Pokemon in it. No, true. To this day. True. There's because they shit. had version lock. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And like that made sense in 1998. Because what now, was it? Pokemon Red and Blue was like there was the Sandshrew right. exclu exclusive, and yeah. then I don't remember. Okay, yeah, the Scyther Gold, one game and Silver. The other game. Yeah, Gold I, Silver. Maybe Pokemon that. Go yeah. has every Pokemon in it now. No, no, it's not, they're not all out. I maybe Pokemon Stadium too, but like I think Pokemon Stadium did. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, um, there's also one oh, other no. component in Power World that we're not really th talking about that like Game Freak or anything that's like genuinely associated with Nintendo will ever be able to do, which is beating the living shit out of Pokemon with a weapon or even shooting them or That's even right. using their, like, Pokemon power as a gun. Pokemon yeah. So power. It is so funny that as Americans, like, we we heard that. We're like, Haha, what a meme. And then we literally couldn't control our boners. Yeah. yeah. Right? We, we, we need this. It was like, so America. Everybody loves it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves it. And I don't think that Game Freak will ever do that because, like, and I told you this as well, Nintendo has, like, very strict controls over this IP, and they obviously already have, like, the nostalgia bait for the millennial generation that grew up with Pokemon, yeah. but their goal is to sell fucking toys to the younger generation and develop yeah. brand loyalty. And if you want to do that, you can't fuck the Pokemon, and you can't beat up the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> so have a sign at Game Freak. You must not fuck the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> you must not beat the Pokemon. That's Number of days true. since last incident. Yeah. 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 So that's never gonna happen. They're <laughs> never gonna. They're never ever ever going to make a game where you can like actually fight the Pokemon no. directly. Maybe the Pokemon can harm you, which Arceus had. Yep. Uh, a little bit of, not a lot, but. Um, beyond that, it was still like limited into that turn-based combat, for example, in the same same exact classic structure. And I think that a lot of that could change, and they, it should change after Power World. I hope they do change it. Well, we I think that they should. I mean, it's a great idea, but you're right. It's like I remember watching Nintendo Direct and thinking, "Wow, these are all games for kids." And I was thinking after that, "Wait, when did I play a lot of Nintendo?" Yeah, it's like, of course yeah. they are. That's yeah. what. That's what it is. And like, yeah, sure, you'll have, you know, the remaster of Super Mario RPG or something like that for like an older audience. But yeah, Nintendo is for a younger audience. And so and it's for like, a much older audience too. Like sure. they hit, they basically hit like, they try to max out on every demographic they can. Nostalgia bait for like the millennials. Yeah. And for like the elderly to play with their like we children. Yep. They also and, just make really solid games. Yeah, that's Which that is too. kind of what makes Pokemon an anomaly. But yeah. You Agreed. got Hassan Abid. You oh. got canceled by the internet. Oh, that's yeah. that. But it wasn't a real cancellation. I think no. it's important that you also recognize that because, like, you, you getting click canceled baited. is getting deplatformed. Yeah, you yep. you yeah. click baited it as like I got canceled, and people saw the uh, they didn't watch a two hour video. Of course, nobody would ever fucking do that. And then, <laughs> of course, nobody. Like, I mean, I, <laughs> people of course watch the video, yeah. but like. No one that wants to make a point is going to do that. Of course. Yeah. Um, so they because then they might actually follow your logic thread. Yeah, they they, uh, <laughs> they, they, they screenshotted anymore. you and said you didn't get actually canceled, dumbass. People yeah. just yelled at you, and it's like I think everybody understands that at this point. Well, it's like I mean to be honest, I have no oversight for my YouTube at all. Like my editors do everything; uh, they're paid a percentage, and that's it. And so, like, obviously I can say that, but it's still my YouTube channel. I'm still giving them the pat on the back, the go-ahead yeah. for it. Yeah. So it's still my responsibility, but I actually didn't really make the title. But, yeah, you can get yeah. mad at me But it's a good that. title. It's a, it's a, it's a it's clicky a, title. It's a great title. Yeah, it it's a good clickbait it title. It did. Um, one of my which then, But the point is, yeah. it was supposed to be about, about Pal World. Yeah. Then it was about AI. Right. And now it's about you in, in particular. Oh, and boy. now it's about, like what's wrong with you and everything else that's lot. wrong with you. <laughs> and like, yeah. and it's, it is fascinating to see like that cycle that I go through on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, sometimes relatively warranted, but in my personal opinion, in most instances is not really warranted. And that just kind of like builds up. And I feel like it makes a lot of spaces toxic, especially online. Well, I, think, yeah, I think the two of you represent something that has been dangerous to man and woman since the dawn of time. 
you're two men who don't want anything from anyone. It's and true. I think oh, that yeah. vexes people to no end. People that are able to exist independently of the machine yeah. represent a threat to it. Of course, right? And yeah. your lifestyle is threatening to people because they're like, <laughs> why doesn't he want our approval? <laughs> yeah. It is yeah. weird. It's very weird whenever people are like, oh, well, I would do this if I had this much money. I'd do that if I had that much money. And it's like, I understand and like I can never be another person and I'm actually not judgmental about people that feel that way. And it's like, if you want to buy all this stuff and it really makes you happy, then you should do that. On right? that front, well, you and awesome. I are on the exact opposite yeah. too. Because I do like luxury goods and shit. However, it. it's people will be like, oh, he bought this for me. Like he bought this to flex on me. He's like, right. no, dude, I bought it because I like it. Like, why the <laughs> fuck? I don't give a fuck what you think. Yeah. Like, yeah. like that, that part is, that part's true. But also... I do care about one thing. I do want people to be charitable. I want people to approach what I have to say with like a level of charitability, which usually doesn't happen online at all. And it increasingly got worse, I think, on Twitch over the course of the past year. You think and so? that's what I wanted to talk about with my Austin trip specifically. Oh, okay. I feel like this platform thrives on collaboration and like, you know, having mm -hmm. content creators talking to one another in real time. And uh, collaboration is what? At its bare bones, it's just like two content creators interacting with one another sure. and their communities like interacting with one another, right? Now that collaborative effort or that interaction could be negative and it could be two content creators debating one another, myself and XQC, for example, right? Or, <laughs> or whatever. I heard or that. it could be two content creators actually interacting with one another in a positive way. And I feel like Twitch, for the most part, especially like in its inception, or I mean, since I've been on it, I never yeah. thought I would be the old guard one day. But uh, when I first got on it, it was definitely way more collaborative in a positive way. And I think over the course of the past year, especially so, it became very negative. Every interaction was was basically tarnished. Yeah. It had like this this stink on it, no matter what. And I think a lot of people became islands in and of themselves. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to come down here and like hang out uh, with with you guys and like do more of that kind of stuff because it is very enjoyable. It's it's what normal people do, and yeah. I think that's the problem, right? Is like you stream so much, you're doing so much of this other stuff, you forget that the other people you're interacting with are probably normal people who have probably more in common with you than most average people, yeah. right? I mean, who el who else sits in a room all day and like talks to a camera? It, it's a very unique lifestyle. So yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I think the reason why is that like especially after like the 2020 COVID boom, you saw like some people getting dragged on Twitter for like saying something for having an opinion about, you know, let's say COVID that's like uneducated or uninformed. And like, I think that a lot of people nowadays are much more gun shy to like interact with other people or talk to other people because they're afraid of like what could happen. Yeah. Because like I had a lot of people message me, for example, and like, I'm sure like, you know, some of those times whenever you're trending and everybody shit on you, it bothers you. Other times it probably doesn't. There's probably a spectrum, right? And, um, you know, they were like, are you okay? Is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, right? But like whenever I first started, especially like some of those things would stress me out and it would be like, oh my God, this is really upsetting. And so like if it's a person who doesn't really have like the mentality or isn't used to dealing with that kind of stuff and then they just get put like, I think that Joe Cat guy, who's that, Tectone? Yeah, Joe, oh, yeah. yeah, he's the guy who yeah. said he loves he skinny loves girls. girls. Thick girls, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he, like, he, he said, so I, I don't remember what it was. He said like, he likes skinny girls or thick girls? He, he made, both. he likes all girls. Joe Cat yeah. is an animator who made, like, a meme on his yeah. own stream and then, like, turned that meme into an animation that went super viral many years ago. Right. A person I actually know uh, jokingly was like, I made this, and, like, because it's like a meme on Twitter to be like, I made this, and it's like actually yeah, cringe. Yeah. And you're basically showing, because it was very cringe. We can show the video if you want. March, can you pull that up, yeah. Joe Cat? You've probably I like heard girls. The, the audio of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was super popular. So, yeah, the audio was really popular, and and it certainly is cringe. I mean, this sure. is... Sure. But, like... He got canceled? He didn't actually well, get canceled, but, like... Killed? Well, he kind of did because he stopped making content. Well, a lot of people were, a yeah. lot of people attacked yeah. him, and yeah. he wasn't able to deal with that. Yeah, and he he stepped away from making content. I think yeah. he's still doing some things, yeah. but he did take a big step away. Yeah. and yeah. like I think that's why people are gun shy and don't like to collab. Okay. Yeah, I think I that's think a that's big part of it. Yeah. Some volume. Oh yeah, can we hear the volume or no? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's no he's volume. just saying, I like oh. girls than pointing to girls. Yeah, and it's like skinny girls, itty bitty girls, big titty yeah. girls. It's based off of another song where it's a girl talking about how much they love men, but yeah. then they made it a song for a guy that loves <laughs> women, and because yeah. you can't have that. Why are people yeah. mad at that? Yep. If you if Who you knows, listen right? to it, you'd be like, it's cringe. It is because cringe. it is. Yeah. But but it's like he's very talented. That's the funniest yeah. part. Like he's such a talented uh, uh, animator. Like it's mm -hmm. obvious. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he's uh, as uh, one of my friends called it. Gay for women. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm gay for women. Yeah. So, but it was cringe and everybody uh, yelled at him for being cringe because I think a lot yeah. of people online like treat cringe as like, there's two things that people can't stand online. It's the perception of hypocrisy, even if none is there, yeah. but you've assumed that there is hypocrisy there and also cringe. If you combine these two things, people online who are one, inherently hypocritical as every human is, and two, uh, uh, very cringe because you're fucking posting online. Of course you're cringe. You're just doing it anonymously so you can hide most of it. True. They, we hate ourselves. We hate what we see. Uh, we the worst aspects of ourselves we see in others and we go, ah, oh, oh, I want to take well, you I, to cringe I think prison. That, I think you're right about that. Those are the two main things. Yeah. But I think that the reason why they're so popular is that it gives the person who's complaining the ability to insert themselves as being superior, right? So, like, for example, this is cringe implies that I'm above this. Yeah. And, like, yeah, this yeah. is hypocritical implies that, like, I'm morally consistent. Yeah. So it's, like, it's built around basically, like, uh, fueling the ego of these people mm -hmm. more than anything. I think that's Absolutely. why those are the two main popular things. It makes people feel very comfortable in a group of people. Yeah. You're in a crowd. You're invisible in many ways, but you're also showcasing that, like, you are not cringe, but this person is. Exactly. Um, anyway, let's let's move on from this yeah. topic. I feel like we are <laughs> we're, we're we haven't asked Emeru anything so far. Oh, I got questions for Emeru. Okay, um, Emeru, you're about to beat a bitch up. Ooh. About to beat a bitch what? up. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah oh doing... yeah. Techie doesn't know no, this. No, no. What is this? She's I guess I was told. Training. Yeah, I'm about to start a fighting training. What at the fuck? Yeah. I thought yeah. we were talking about Mulaney training. and Elden Ring. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought that's what he was going. Yeah. What's the style? Like Hapkido? Boxing or like Muay Thai? Am, oh, I, am I saying sick. that right? I don't know. Yeah, Muay Thai. Yeah. Yeah, Muay Thai. Who are you gonna beat up? I, I don't know. Like, I, I just want to learn how to do it. But then I was thinking that because I was like, okay, well, most people who like go train at these gyms yeah. are. Yeah. Bigger than me, stronger than me. They've been training for a long time, so it's like, well, then who could I fight? But I'll I mean, fight you. Who will? you'll fight me. I mean, yes. <laughs> well, Emily already said that she would fight me, and okay. she has a little bit of boxing training. She's someone yeah. that's around my size. But I think you take I, that. I mean, I just want to learn. And then also with doing the fighting, you I also have to train her. like weights and stuff. I have to get stronger. So, I, I mean, it's something that I've thought about doing for a while. And everyone's been doing stuff at the gym, which I was like kind of sad because I, for a while I, I was kind of scared to go to the gym like it's such like a public location and stuff yeah. but seeing everyone there I was like okay it's, it's probably not that big of a deal it will be so. the best decision you ever make yeah. I, I, I've been going to the gym every day now for a month and two weeks I can't stop it's my favorite yeah. thing I would I love to see you with some traps traps yeah. trapezius muscles yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, and treat like a video game. a muscle mommy. Yeah. Oh, there you I don't go. know if I could do that, but... Treat muscle like a video a game where every time you go, you're like, oh, plus two strength. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it makes yeah. it so Gamify. much more fun. I love it. Yeah. I do that for everything. Seriously, though, if you had to fight someone... If I had to fight someone... If you're, if you're putting together a prize fight... Oh, I know. Lily Pichu. Lily Pichu. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Would. She's vicious. You know, I mean, similar build, probably. And she, has, <laughs> she, doesn't have, she doesn't have the killer instinct that you do, so it's yeah. easy buckets. That's what you, you think, think You think Lily doesn't have the killer Compared instinct? You? That's what you I'm think. Not okay, yeah, Lily, I, you played League for fun. Lily got excited when really? Michael Reeves was fighting. She got into it. Oh, shit. She was a big fan of it. I think, she, I think she'd take that. I think she's got that dog in her. I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't undermine I, her. I would pay American dollars to I watch feel like you guys. Be, I think it would be really <laughs> funny <laughs> to fight Lily. Yeah, I would do that. Oh, yeah. my God. What a title fight. Tectone, you're built like uh, a, a power lifter that just quit lifting <laughs> many years ago. Yeah. Tectone, if you shaved your beard, you would look like the creative character in every NBA game before you start working on that. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, I, like, I like a troll from World of Warcraft. That's what I prefer. So what's yeah. up with that? Where you, are you gonna are you gonna take some fucking steroids and, uh, and man to. up or not? Yeah, no, I used to do steroids. Oh, really? I didn't know yeah, that. Really? Do you have photos? Uh, actually, I have a couple. Not all. Yeah, he, no, bro, I was. Did he wrestle? Yeah, yeah I, I did professional that. wrestling at Austin Anarchy Pro Wrestling. Nice. It was a very fun time. I got injured very quickly, and my uh, my, you hurt? 
uh, broken sternum. Dick. <laughs> yeah, broken dick. <laughs> sternum got really fucked up. And then my coach, his name was Ray, uh, wanted me to be a luchador because he thought I was too fucking ugly to not wear a mask. That's <laughs> awesome. Which was insane, by the way. And I'm like, all right. Uh, but yeah. Get I, up on that top rope, Ted. <laughs> he, he, he said you got a face for Bill for radio. I, <laughs> I, did, I, uh, I did the same steroids that Canute currently uses, which oh. is, uh, it's like rub on medical grade, where oh. you rub them on your chest and then it puts the test. God damn. Yeah, you like that? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> That was unexpected. Can you do those topicals there? Yeah, yeah. The fuck? Yeah. I didn't even. You rub it on. I didn't know you could even do that. It. Yeah, yeah I've never what heard of that. Ever. Can you dad. jelk with that to get extra length? Oh, I don't oh really my god. Yeah, yeah. But I will admit, like that shit fucks you up. Even yeah. the shit that you rub on is not good. Oh. Yeah, but definitely. But you get really big, really fast. Ooh. Because it's not that steroids make you stronger. It's that they give you the ability to train harder. Yeah, more capacity. Exactly. So you get juiced really quick. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, right now, I'm still out benching what I used to anyways. Nice. Just because uh, Camp Canute changed my fucking life, yeah. which, hope to God, we do a season two. Oh, I think I think that's happening. Yeah, it needs to happen one million percent. And, uh, yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it now more than ever just because I just play video games and I go with my homies. It's very nice. I go with a group of, like, seven people, like, every day. It's so fun. If I worked out with Canute for 30 days, I would die. <laughs> it's actually the best. Because, like, there's a lot, like, look, I'm a, I'm... A relatively experienced lifter mm. doing this for 10 years now you know i've had my ups and downs for the most part but um when i'm around someone like canute he has this it's energy easy to him. hassan yeah five more reps hassan <laughs> he just makes me push way harder than i normally would oh yeah and because like i have something to prove to him because i i respect his size yeah right. he's a specimen yeah. right and he it, becomes like a father figure yeah where he you're does. like I have to. I have to show him that I I'm can't capable. Can't let my dad yeah. down. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I have to show that. I'm, I'll show him that I'm capable of Tell this. Tell me you're proud, Dad. And it's just like I am in so much pain. Uh, good pain, not yeah. bad pain. Uh, from from working out the these past two days, where you know we did chest the first day yep. and then legs the next day, and everything hurts right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if I can do that for a thirty days straight. I, I would like to. I think you would be surprised at how much you're capable of when you're doing an exercise regimen with somebody who cares about you, with seven other people that are your friends. Yep. And you do it every day, and it's like hanging out with your best friends, getting jacked together, motivating each other to get stronger, and the best thing, motivating your audience to do the same. Yeah. It's the best. So do it. You guys are going <laughs> to be a part of this as oh, well. Fuck. Now. Oh, fuck. Now. Oh, fuck. We saw yeah. you in there, man. You were yeah. you were putting up, you were bench pressing. The bar. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just, look, no, don't let anybody make fun of you. the internet hey. wants you to get jacked. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't yeah, know, stone man. stone cold gold. Like, it, the real reason why I haven't really tried to, like, work out or gain weight is that I feel like the way that I live is a medical anomaly. And I don't want to fuck up some sort of like internal <laughs> equilibrium, right? I'll start Dude, working out. Trump, Trump said that too, where he was like, he literally was like, I don't want to. And it's true, he lives yeah. on Diet Coke and he, McDonald's. Yeah. And, and he's going around, he's 75, 76 years old. Yeah. And so I'm like, guys, I, I'm 33. I feel good. Yeah, I've had a problem with my back a little bit. But other than that, I feel great all the time. Do you, do you ever contemplate, though, that you might just really have good genetics? And if you worked out and were healthy, they can eat you to be even better? Uh, yeah. That's so you're wasting your genetic yeah. potential. Oh, shit. Yeah. A little bit. God, your rants would go so hard, too, if you were just shirtless and jacked. Oh, yeah, if you were an Oh, God, God bro. damn, dude. You might save the young men of this country. Is that right? You get yeah. absolutely strapped. I, I mean, somebody needs to. I feel like there's there's a lot of them. There's a lot of, uh, you know, internet dads out there. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the God. worst. They're all, they're they're, all deadbeat dads who love cryptocurrency and also Courses. suspiciously are telling you you know, one, women ain't shit, and two, uh, you can make money by joining my Discord server and <laughs> learning about financial tips and tricks. Yeah. Baller yeah. University, baby. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I mean, if you could fight any character from l lore or or history or otherwise... Who would win, you or Kirby? Kirby. Ooh. Kirby owns. What the fuck? He's yeah, so what? Upbeat. Yeah. Who would you fight, though? Mariah okay. Nikki. Anyone. I I'm love to beat the shit match. out of Manus. That's not gonna happen. But if I could, no, he's asking yeah. if I could. Oh, okay. I would okay. fucking kill him. Manus, okay. Dark Souls, um, extra, what's it called? DLC content. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Fuck mm -hmm. that guy. 
Okay. okay. Why? Why are you so? Why is there so much hate in your heart for him? Yeah. Because I I fought him for like six hours and I I almost cried. More importantly, that's your nameless in, king. Yeah, she went into Dark Souls with a big fucking ego, and she was very <laughs> much ahead of me on deaths. Oh, we because, yeah, we did a death yeah. race. I was like a hundred deaths ahead, and yep. then at the very end, she I died to this one guy away. like eighty times, and it went all mm -hmm. downhill on that one <laughs> boss. That was it. The crumbling. And I did end up winning. Yeah. Yep. Listen. <laughs> Why two? Fight? By two. Anybody, anybody in lore, video game? Ooh, I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> he's got a lot, bro. He's got a list. Uh, yeah, no, I'm. This is the lore guy. You I can ask him like anything about WoW. He'll like know right, the year cook, it came out for too. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. Cook for okay. two seconds. <clears throat> uh, for me, I'd fight Blackbeard from One Piece. Oh. Wow. I mean, he'd rip you. I, I, I hate that motherfucker so much. Yeah. He's got, he's got gravity. He's, he's got so much. He's got everything. And he's and, got everything. And the worst thing is, he's not done. You want to know why? He's gonna kill Trafalgar. Oh, 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 oh. This is a guess. This is a guess. This okay, is a guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just that. speculation. Don't okay. do that. He's. I also know how One Piece ends. All speculation. No, you don't. No, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say Stop. it now. So first of all, he's gonna kill Trafalgar Law. Okay. I know that's gonna happen. But um, I, remember, I'm. No one else here watches One Piece, or do you? No, they they, they know well, of it. Though. I, I know. I it, only yeah. know like up to where like the yeah. Netflix show. Okay, is. I'm. Uh, I am uh, currently. Where am I? I just Zoa, and then uh, I'm. I think I finished. I just finished Dress Rosa. Yep, you're or, in a great spot. Or, or about to finish Dress Rosa. Yep, you're in a very good spot. No, yeah, it's Lord so good. I'm just gonna say. Just, I'm gonna say how it ends. The Duh. One Piece is on the moon, and it gives. Oh, with. Yep. Skypea. Yep, and it's going yeah. to give uh, Luffy the ability to connect all the islands and make the world one piece like Pangea. Whoa. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. That's, yep. that's correct. Some someone in Japan is gonna kill you. Fun fact: I've been saying this for over two years. Well, that's, this will be the clip. oh since Skypea. Yeah. Uh, no, since um uh, I had a I had a previous podcast where we were talking about speculation. It was about okay. anime, and I was uh, like, that is going to happen. Okay, yeah. who'd you fight? Who would I fight? Any person. Pfft, I didn't even. I like that you asked everybody, and I didn't even think that I would yeah, answer this question. Not. Because I just, I don't know. I, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Come on. Uh, One person. Who would you fight? You beat the fuck out of Miskip yesterday. That's true. Miskip. <laughs> <laughs> Miskip again. <laughs> no, no, no. In video games? Is no, any video games, books, movie. Who would I fight? Yes. Physically in the room. We've asked everybody. Like, like, a, like a real person. <laughs> I, can put, I can put forward a real. Oh, dude. Put Jesus. a beating on him. There's so many people. You guys suck. There are so many people. It's just like I a lot I won't say because they're political. Fight figures. Trump. I would fight Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Not controversial take. Brave. Oh, Brave. Wow. I know. <laughs> who would yeah. you fight, Will? Bad guy. He, hmm. he is. Given this a lot. Someone who, who pissed me off the most. Yeah. You just watch this show. Okay. I'd fight Skylar from Breaking Bad. Oh my gosh, Damn. she's so I awful. don't like her. She's the worst. Wow. The fucking and worst. I, and I, you know, if I had a situation where I couldn't be judged, I would just beat the shit out of Skylar. <laughs> oh, <just> straight up. <laughs> Terrible. Jesus Christ. Terrible, yeah, like, horrid horrible. bitch. It was People she the one gonna... who cheated on her husband? Yes. Oh, and okay. oh my okay. God. Like, she obliterated Walter's character. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my god, like, you, it's, 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 it's like poison into the show. <laughs> like, People are gonna get so passionate about this because like every week, every other week, there's another- Did you see the meme? There's another yeah. viral meme about like how Skylar is actually not a bad person in the show yes. and you guys are like misogynistic and it's like, no, no. no, it's a fictional character and like she's presented in that way specifically to like make the content worse. So yeah, of course you're not supposed to like her, okay? You're not. Yep. You're not supposed to like Walter all that much either, but you're definitely not supposed to like her either. Well, it's like in most normal people's lives, they might have a girl that cheated on them, but they probably didn't know of a cartel boss. Yeah. So yeah. it's more personal. Yeah, they, yep. they don't yeah. run a they don't run a meth making operation. Yeah, so they don't understand the dynamic there. <laughs> yeah. And we're just doing a fun game on a podcast. Now who would you fight? Fuck, I'd say the Lich King, something like that. Like I, I don't Ooh. it's a boring answer. Boring answer. I just don't really think about it because like in my mind, oh, the Lich King beat my fucking ass. He's the goddamn Lich King. So it's like, how are you going to beat anybody in there? So it's like kind of... It, Wait, it's, like Arthur's You would or probably Bar? fight the Nameless Arthur. King. Yeah. Like, if you saw the Nameless King in a bar, Ooh. you would probably just pop I've off. made peace <laughs> with it. No. That's yeah. why I was going to say Nameless no. King at first, but, like, I, I killed him. So I if destroyed you to, him. If you had to go beat the Nameless King again right now, you'd have a good time. Was it that bad? Yes. It, I quit for, like, a year. I had a really year? Time oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I know you, yeah, you had a hard time. I finished a game... And everyone's like, no, you didn't. You didn't kill the Nameless King. Yeah. And, and you want to know what boss that was for me? a year, they Owl said. Owl 2, Sekiro. Oh. oh. Owl 2. Oh. I was on that one for yeah. a long time. Punishing boss. 
God, I think it was game. like yeah. five or six hours for me. Yeah. yeah. It took me a bit. I, th I thought Owl One was harder. No, really? you're because, fucking high. No. Because of that little ball? Um, it's because Sekiro, unlike all of the other Soulsborne games in the franchise, actually puts you with limiters. Like, there's no way to over-level and get back to that yeah. fight. Mm. So there's literally no help. It's all rhythm. It's all pure skill. Yep. In that entire franchise, which is why I think it's the hardest one in the entire franchise. 100%. Yeah. Uh, for that reason, Have which you is why Bloodborne? I think um, yeah. Bloodborne was a joke. I Bloodborne think at the end, though, some of those late game bosses are kind of wild. Dude, you know Orphan of Chaos? Yeah. Guess how long it took me to try to beat that? Oh. One attempt. That's. And you know what's crazy? Stupid. I win with half potions. Yep. With Whirly Gig. Is he just, really good at games or something? No, no really. he just got lucky on that one boss. No, it, wasn't, oh. it was actually skill, but he just has to underplay it. No. Uh, would you agree that Breaking Bad is just Death Note? Think about what? that shit. Yep, it's the same show. Think about think about think about Hank and Walter White. That's literally that's literally Kira and L. No, okay, because but... L is competent. Hank is famously incompetent. Is he? Yes. Well, he was very good at everything else. What? Get, he was like he got promoted to like the the lead operator in the drug. police force. That's like getting promoted at a tasty free. In the DEA. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. You so, think the DEA yeah. does a good job? In this country, the yeah. war on drugs going well. They literally, they literally, uh, they literally say, promote man? you. The more thumb-like you look, the more you get elevated. <laughs> okay, and okay. Hank looks like a thumb. It's like White and Kira if they weren't as, or sorry, L and Kira if they weren't as smart. It's a very similar plot. It's a very similar plot. I feel like a it major like, component here. It is, would be like Death Note if Light Yagami was Walter White, and L was a kid with progeria trying to play football. <laughs> 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 but the thing is, you have to understand, Hank is very smart, but you have to understand, it was his ego that was getting in the way of him realizing that, because he thought no, Walter was so pathetic. Do you pathetic. even remember yes, Hank Schrader's arc? After he got shot, he was useless. Yeah. There were whole seasons where he's like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh uh, Have you never, been shot? Have you been shot? Everyone no, would feel that. Hell was never like, I'm so scared. Because he didn't get shot. You're wrong. <laughs> okay. How do you think Al would have reacted if he got fucking shot? He would have been shot? like, uh, a bullet. It's in my arm, though. So I have <laughs> okay. a while to bandage it. I need to think about the best tourniquet I can make. Okay, yeah, maybe. He, he, would, he would tank it. He tank <laughs> it. I would tank it. <laughs> it's Elle nothing is, to sorry, him. I, I'm, the, the problem is Al is maybe the greatest anime protagonist, protagonist ever. I think so, too. And Hank Schrader good. is fucking Hank Schrader. I thought Hank Schrader was a great character. Schrader brow. He's a great character. He awesome. He's no L, though. No, he's no L. Okay, but he's an Americanized version of it. I, I mean, think I mean, L is... Oh, you know what it is? You know uh, what? It, I think L is, like, the perfected version of, like, the the much older style of like Sherlock Holmes, but as a yes, protagonist, no, he's supposed to be the guy from uh, Murder on the Orient Express, and yeah, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't. Think I don't of know. The, but, the famous detective. But he he actually is like, I think a lot of times with like Sherlock Holmes and whatnot, or like Glass Onion. That yeah, detective. yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be like the omnipotent detective. But the way that mm. they the way that they present Sherlock Holmes usually in like especially modern renditions of it is like he's just really smart he always gets it yeah. like there isn't any there's no well, the element other thing about it. al is that you have to factor is he is fighting god yeah he like is. a lot of people are like oh light and l are you know evenly matched they're not no, no. they're not the only reason light can compete with l is because he's been given the power of god absolutely which puts a detective in an impossible situation where he's literally doing logic about the unfathomable absolutely yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I, just, I, I don't know. So, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Death Note. Seen I have not seen Whoa. Death Note. We, we talked, yeah. We've talked about this multiple times. Well, I, thought yeah. I thought by now you were. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. It's no. been like it's a, a year. Very, yeah. It's also a super easy watch. Yeah, it's, it's like, like super it's easy. It's for the first season and 26 for the whole thing. I knew I was hooked with when they played tennis and there's like a 30-minute sequence of him being like, he's going to hit a forehand. Wait. It's a slice. Dude. And it's like Dude. so overthought. The best Dude, moment it, of death Watch note. it tonight, Jane, bro. Oh God. Lights in the car, yeah. right? And then he touches the paper again. And then everything comes back, and he's just screaming oh, yeah. from the information yeah. overload. Oh my yeah. God! It's good. What What is y'all? Because I just I just realized that you're a weed today. I didn't. I had no, no, no fucking no, no, idea. No. He's a weed. It's so funny because like he, I went on I went on mad. trash taste. He got mad you because went on trash taste. Yeah. What the and when fuck? I, and when I went on trash taste, yeah. they were shocked. 
because I went on Trash Taste, which is like the premier weed it's podcast. The anime. Yep. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And and it's like, and I had like notes written out ahead of time for them. Like I brought Whoa. controversial subjects, some of which I think like have been very prescient. Uh, Attack on Titan is an anime that is uh, actually a mecha anime. It is 100%. Okay, flesh anime. I'm glad flesh they, mecha. Yeah, flesh mecha. Yep. And yeah. especially with the political undertones as well, or yep. overtones. Um, that is a good take. Yeah, and yep. then the other one is Luffy is a terrorist. Yeah. Oh, what's that about? He's a freedom fighter. He fights against literally the one world government and sea cops. You're right. Yep. There you go. Yeah, 100% right. Yeah. Both really? of those went like super violent. Like people at first they were like, whoa, and then they were like, Okay. <laughs> so I need to know this because everybody has this moment. I'm not sure if you, you might not remember it, but try to. What is the moment where you were like, I fucking love this shit? Oh, I remember. Mine's, mine's very clear. It's when Krillin blows up and Goku's like, well, we can't have that. Goes Super Saiyan 1 for the first time versus yeah, Frieza. Dicko mode. Insane. What mine was your wasn't anime moment? Anime. I think it was manga. But I, it was Dragon Ball as well. I remember, what was it actually? I remember mine specifically <laughs> because the stars aligned. Yeah. I was at a sleepover at my friend's Ben, my friend Ben's house. It was yeah. my first sleepover ever, and many people experience this. Your first sleepover, you're scared shitless. You're like, I'm not in my yep. house anymore. What the fuck is going on? So I couldn't sleep. So I, he was a really rich kid. So I snuck up to one of his like living rooms mm -hmm. that was isolated, and I started watching TV. And I put on Cartoon Network because that was like my safety. It happened to be the night that Adult Swim was debuting Cowboy Bebop. What the fuck? Ooh. And so I was like 10 years old, yeah. nine years old. I was like, Cartoon Network, like, let's get some fucking Dexter's Lab in. Here we go. Yep. And all of a sudden it was like, I don't know if you guys remember the old original bumps for Adult Swim, but it was like all kids out of the pool. Yep, I remember. All kid and I was like, what the fuck is that? And then fucking Cowboy Bebop came on, and my mind, it was that first episode on Mars with the red-eyed coyote and all that shit, yeah. my mind, like, imploded. And I just, like, I, I put away childhood things forever. I was like, there's a world out there! <laughs> and it just, I, I, I was hooked to the point where I would, like, climb, sneak down in my house and watch Adult Swim. That's and I was so exposed sick. to all of these things. And it was... It was similar enough, because it was cartoons, in my mind, that I could rationalize it or try and wrap my head around it, but the the, the themes and the concepts were so Dark. adult and yep. so challenging that it just felt like alien in a native way. Like the the first time a, a girl touches your butt during sex, you know what I mean? Like, yep. <laughs> uh, and, and I just loved it. I fucking, I loved it and I couldn't get enough of it and it, weeb from that point I, forward. I think Dragon Ball got me invested in uh, like, anime and, and manga because I, I read Dragon Ball as a manga. Yeah. But I think my like come to Jesus moment was probably Samurai Champloo Adult Swim as well. Samurai Champloo. Do you remember the specific moment? <sighs> I don't remember the specific moment, no. Damn. The first episode is so fucking strong so it's probably in yeah, there. It, Dude, that, that show is so good. For me good. it was like random because like I, uh, I I didn't grow up here, but like sometimes in the summers I'd come to America, and that's all I did was like read comic books and read manga. I, I would go to Borders, uh, which <laughs> is like yeah. a Barnes and Noble, yeah. with a and, cafe in it. Yeah, with the Seattle's mm -hmm. best coffee in it, oh, and I'd get yeah. one of those like fat fucking milkshake coffees, oh, and I would just sit there and just like read as much as I could because like they don't uh, have that shit in my Turkey. First manga I can't buy was, it. My first manga ever was Chobits. <gasps> Me too. That's a classic. And, Dude, and no it's way. like a very girly manga because yeah. in my fifth grade class, there was a uh, a girl named Xiao Nin. Mm -hmm. And she like was reading that. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And she's like, read it. And I remember there were boobs in it. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a lot <laughs> of boobs. Which a big hook for me. <laughs> yep. But I was like 30 volumes into Chow Bits. Yeah. And I was like, this story's incredible. Uh, yeah. I had another girl in my Your English class. Your first manga was Showbits? Mm hmm That's so And awesome. my first anime, too, yeah. I had this they made an anime of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you haven't seen it? No. Dude, the opening's oh. a banger. Oh, I Peep it. I had a chick in uh, English class in sixth grade who would let me read her Rave Master manga and then make me eat uh, what bugles off her fingers while I would read anime you with her. You had a mistress. Well, That's sick. It was wild, actually. <laughs> you were getting down a little bit. Yeah, you go off your fingers. I was very hungry, and I loved the anime. Oh, it was wild. Was Two of my favorite things. <laughs> Two of my favorite things combined. Oh, what a treat, dude. All right, I'm going to pull up. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, we talked oh, about. Wait. 
Sixth grade. <laughs> Hell yeah. The old anime, like, I remember watching, dude, for me, it was Ghost in the Shell. I oh, remember yeah. seeing that. And it was, like, the first cartoon that I saw that was, like, serious. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, shit. What? <laughs> dude, Wait, what? How ahead was Ghost in the Shell? It's insane. Ghost yeah. in the it's Shell is, crazy. there are projects like that yeah. that make no sense to me where it's like, we are now in 2024. Ghost in the Shell came out in the 1980s. Have you ever seen Lane? Movie? What's up? Lane, the Serial Experiments Lane. Yes. I, I recently watched it like maybe a year and a half ago. That was the exact fucking thing that I thought. Yeah. I was how like, are they how is more it relevant now yeah. than they were when they came out? Exactly. That makes no sense to me. I think some of it is good politics and the other is just, they just nail it. It's it's got it's got good philosophy in in it and and then it becomes like way more prescient. Yeah. I feel well, like Ghost, yeah. Ghost in the Shell is it kind of um, predictive in the same way that really good sci-fi is. And the other yeah. piece that I want to talk like about that Runner. with AI becoming more and more of an issue, full circle on yeah. this, Dune. If you really get into the Dune yeah. lore with the Mentats. What happens, what the, the lead-in events to Dune that they kind of cover in the books, not the movies at all, is that mankind goes to war with AI. They don't have, notice they don't have guns in Dune? Right. What's that so about? They, they completely change their religious, technological, and cultural structure to avoid using computers. Yeah, it's a wipeout, a full wipeout. And they change, actually, Christianity. They have the orange book. This is some nerdy shit. Now I'm taking you there. I but, didn't know all this. Yeah, yeah. this is but crazy. But the idea is that they went to war with AI yeah. because they realized human beings could not exist uh, harmoniously with AI. So Mentats in the, are actually human computers. They're people that have spent their entire lives training to do what a basic computer would do right. because they are now against the law to use. What the yeah, fuck? There's That's no, actually so cool. A lot yeah. of the technology is just like, it's wiped out completely. But they predicted that in like the 80s, man. How? How? I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like the internet's coming up. I yeah. mean, not 80s, but uh, like it's the, there's like a tech well, I think bubble. if you understand human psychology and you can kind of predict that people will always want more, will always escalate things more and more. Yeah. I think that a lot of that is built off of that psychology. And big surprise, they're right. Yeah. You know, it's fucked up. We just up, can't there help is. ourselves. Yeah. No, but you're, but that but true, actually, yes. That's why I love a good dystopia. Yeah. It's why, uh, uh, what's the, the Matt Damon movie is one of my, Elysium is one of my do favorite. Think, do you oh, think there's yeah. any cure to that? Do you think there's maybe like a, a gene? that we can point to in the future and eliminate to, to stop human beings from being so just impossibly ambitious? No, but it's not even yeah, ambition. No. I, dude, I, look, you're well, making not me, ambition, you're making I me think want to talk you, about politics. If, if you had, <laughs> this, is, so, this is very political. <laughs> yeah. You're, this is like, I'm, like I'm holding back. Like, hey, I'm holding. Baby, talk to yeah. me about ethical I'm like, consumption. I'm like, I'm like white knuckling <laughs> here. Just give me like 10 minutes just, of ethical consumption. The, it's, it's, it's the way that it's the way that we've progressed post-industrial revolution that has like basically made our designed our entire <laughs> lives around permanent growth and and not necessarily sustainability at all. Um, that's why it's like unique when someone like yourself exists uh -huh. in this way. No, but no, I'm serious. Yeah, like yeah. you live in like you live an ascetic lifestyle. Yeah, you're like which Diogenes, is, which is like oh, odd gosh. because you make a shit ton of money. And I mean, you make in comparison I, to the average I do. person. I do. Things yes. are good. Things are and, very good. And um, and beyond that, like, but you don't have any interest. You you have figured out what makes you tick, what you enjoy. I have as well. And uh, and and you just kind of just keep hitting that button, yeah. and you don't hit any of the other buttons. You're like, no, no. that's the one. This is the <laughs> one. <laughs> this is the yeah. shit that I like. And like and and I think that that limits your growth potential under capitalism, yeah. under a capitalist uh, uh, structure. This isn't to say that you're a socialist by any means, but that mentality is oftentimes lost upon many, and that is because we are taught and, and we have normalized this concept that, like, no, you have to constantly, like, build. You have to constantly expand. Hassan, why don't you hire more people so you can, like, build a business? Because I don't want to. I, I, I care more about, like, hitting the button and doing the yeah. things that I like doing. If you could program a button to do one thing over and over again for the rest of time. I don't know if you want the answer to that. 
<laughs> Feed him Dr. Pepper. Now that is a good leader. <laughs> yeah. Now that is a good leader. <laughs> what would your button do? I don't know. I mean, like, to, to do anything? Just one sp- one thing. Like, you press a button, turkey bacon sandwich. Boom. Cure any illness that I have. Okay, that's yeah. a good, good one. Button. Yeah, that, that's the easy. doctor button. No, yeah. mine is mine is closer to Kira. World leaders. Oh, like, like three D printing them? No, killing them. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. He did. <laughs> the assassination. I don't know. We got that. Would you w- w- would you have a medical button or an assassination um, button, or would it be simple? I'd probably just have a button where, like, when I'm tired, I need to sleep. I press it. It's like I just slept. That's, that's a good button. That's a good button. Now that's a person who loves living life. Okay, yeah. you're like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to miss out on anything. <laughs> This is so I just good. I just find having to sleep so intrusive and annoying. Really? Yeah, like I, when I when I sleep, I enjoy it. But if I could choose to never have to sleep, I would never sleep again. True. Wow. Okay, I got a better button. Okay, be- better than the assassination button. Better than the assassination button. one. That was a bit of a meme. <laughs> okay, I hit the button, and it basically gives me mouth pleasures, and and mm. it is <laughs> zero calories. Okay. Yeah. Oh, did I thought you were talking about him? You're talking about him. No. I thought you were like, no, I was talking about food, dog. I was talking about fucking, I was talking about food, my man. Like, I'm eating like A5 snow beef wagyu that was like just cut off a calf that was like fucking massaged her whole life. Food button. Food button, but it doesn't like do any of the negative side effects, like making me fat. What's your button, Tech? Uh, probably, uh, what's it called? Telekinesis button? Is that the read minds more where you can, like, fucking move shit with your mind? Okay, that's, that's not, but that's no, just no, you. No, no, the button. That's just you being no, psychic. No, 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 no. That ain't a button. No, so the button does whatever I'm looking at goes into my hand. Okay. Yes. Like a force pull. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, like, I, like, like, oh, I want a soda. Oh. Press the button. It goes into my fucking hand. That shit. That's, it. that's well, the if, hardest thing in the world If for me. I had a button... Yeah. It would be shaped like a bell, and it would be to turn on notifications for the Fear End podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching <laughs> Fear wow. End, He's and our genius. guests today have been steak and eggs. They've been incredible. So Please smooth. make sure you check out their pod. We will be on a delayed episode for them in two weeks, so if you've enjoyed this conversation you'd like some more, there are two options. And there's a big reveal there as well, so, yep. you know, definitely What's watch the that reveal? <laughs> <laughs> Hassan's assassination button, list of targets. <laughs> <Man>. um, <laughs> so if, if you like this, please check them out in two weeks, or... We're about to go behind the paywall portion where things get a little raunched up, things get a little weird, things get a little intense. We're going to talk about Yoda fucking. I've been wanting to talk yes. about this. Yes. We're doing this today? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah, I was oh, like, oh, I'm sorry, because you talked, you're like, oh, I want to tell you guys about the Star Wars thing, and then you never brought it yeah, up. No, I we, saved it yeah. for yeah, He uh, made the Yoda coming noise. Okay. Wait, oh, stop. Stop. Oh. Stop. Okay, you're, you're leaking it. You're leaking it. You're leaking it. All right, well, don't don't leak any further. Uh, yeah. Go to patreon.com slash fear and, uh, and, and, you know, Get invested. Get involved. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Where can people find you guys, by the way? Just Google Asmund Gold. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find something. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Amaru. Mm-hmm. Twitch.tv forward slash Tech Down. Yep. All right. And Ladies and see gentlemen, you. thank you one more time to our guests. You guys are incredible. Mm-hmm. Thank you for letting us use your set and peace. Yeah. Is there a rule 34 Yoda? I Mark, bet there can you is. pull that up? What if they have eggs or something? Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, like, you know, like, like... He's kind of like an amphibian aren't there, Yeah, aren't there species that don't, like, have sex? There's just, like, the eggs, and then so they, like, There's come and fertilize the eggs. Like scorpions, So I it's, like, out. not sex. Oh. I don't know, scorpions, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what if it just lays eggs? So you think Yoda lays... <laughs> oh, no, my I don't, God! I, 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 no. I don't think he oh, does, no. but, like... Yeah, take that... Take the shackles that. off, baby. Oh! Oh, That's about what I would have expected. Wait, yo, Yoda with tits in the middle, though? Yeah, why is that? That is not so bad, bro. Can you click on Yoda with big ass tits, why please? Is, why is Yoda oh the my big God. asshole? Is Yoda, is Grogu a. What the fuck? Grogu's a bottom. That is low key actually hot, though. <laughs> <laughs>